Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to be setting up three of these pages. They're the pages that face the next month divider. So um, a lot of people call these currently pages. If you've been around for a while, you know that that's what they originally started out as with Happy Planner. They had currently information here. I've always used these as monthly goals. So uh, relevant to the planner I'm in, if it's, this is my catch-all planner, but um, like my wellness and fitness planner, which we'll get to, um, the space is more reserved for stuff like that. So what I try to do is coordinate this page with this page. So even even though this is the last part of January, this is the February page, so I, I match it so that in the future when I'm flipping through my planners, it, uh, 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 my archive, uh, it matches. So as you can see here, this is a divider I made myself. It's got a nice soft pink outline, beautiful quote, um, some snowy owls. So um, I definitely want the pink for the Valentine vibe. Um, but I still want the wintry vibe because I never can get enough snow and we haven't had much. So trying to match to this, um, I just put, I put in my catch all at least, that's where I track any like family holidays like my sister's birthday and things like that. So we're going to put that down here and then I like to leave space for things I want to get accomplished in February, February goals if you will. So knowing I want to match to that, the first thing I want to do is put a nice soft winter scene for the owls and since owls are nighttime birds um, I have the winter memories from Amber Plans for Day this was the one that came out right at the end of 2022 because the very first page on here has these beautiful snowy winter scenes um, and even though this is purple and that's pink it gives me the feel of nighttime it feels like the view out of my back window ever so slightly. Actually, if it looks more like the Olympics, which is to the west of us. I used to be able to see that from my office window when I worked up on the ninth, 10th floor downtown, um, Seattle. Anyway, uh, I just thought this fit really, really well with the snowy owls. And there is a little bit of purple in some of those feathers there. So we're gonna use this. And then I also pulled the um, Winter Icons by Kel of a Plan, because again, I'm not really feeling floral vibes here. I definitely, though, want to go with the pink. And since this is a snowy scene, um, I thought these would go as well, this set. And I haven't used any of these yet, so let's get started. We'll put this off to the side now that you know what I'm matching to, and I'll show you at the end of this segment um, how that turned out. So let's get some white out. I'm going to white these out. So as far as holidays um, that I need to add, like I said, my sister's birthday um, and then Mardi Gras really is only the only thing I need to add for February that's not already on here. So at first I thought I would use this scene, but it's a little bit too, I want to put it at the bottom here and that's a little too wide. Plus there's not as much pastel, it doesn't feel nighttime to me, but I think this one is perfect. So let's go ahead and stick this one down at the bottom of the page. So I do space for about four goals and then a quote and just decoration. So, all right, let's start with this. I think I'll, since it's a little, um, it doesn't need to be going from edge to edge, I'll move it in just a little bit so I don't, I can be lazy and not drag my punch out. So there we go, beautiful. Now the owls are happy. Um, let's look for a quote, something romantical. Oh, always be my forever. I feel like that goes with this scene. Um, maybe something about snow too, because I still feel like we haven't gotten enough snow. Um, nothing Christmassy though. There we go. Happiness is first tracks in fresh snow. There was a time when uh, Hubby and I were skiing more, him especially, where there was... Um, <laughs> nothing could beat being up and being the first one to lay tracks in fresh powder on the ski slope. So I like that. I think that's wholly appropriate. Okay. Um, so then, oh, I, I do want a Valentine's Day quote though. I'll, I, I'm really liking, um, maybe that one. So, but let's go ahead then and keep building on this theme with some pink. 
So like I said, I definitely want um, to add a couple holidays. So let's go. The nice thing about the Kelleva Plan books, there are no quotes, but she's got a good mix of clear um, decorative stickers and paper functional stickers. So let's grab a couple of these um, bullet points and I can write in then the two holidays. So like I said, Mardi Gras is not listed on here. I want that because I always like to do a Mardi Gras spread, even though I've never been to New Orleans for Mardi Gras. Someday, maybe. Although that seems a little crazy. I definitely want to go to New Orleans sometime, but probably not for Mardi Gras, actually. All right, let's look for another little something to put over that. How about... I don't want to go with super Christmassy. Maybe one of these these hands holding like coffee because you got to have a hot beverage right or the candy canes I could put this one on there with this the hand be coming right out from here and then that and they are candy canes but for some reason since they're I think since they're pink they don't feel super Christmassy to me I love peppermint peppermint is one of my safe smells and flavors as far as like migraines and acid reflux and stuff so I was thinking this was a little too empty but I got to remember I'm going to write a couple things here and so that amount of white space is totally fine I really want to put I think I want to put these little pink lights across the very very top of my page I think they'll both fit on there so a lot of clear sticker on these we can just chop that off so let's put them both on there It covers up February a little bit, but you know what? I know that's February. I don't need it to show. It's okay. More white out. Um, I kind of want the beverage too. So um, this could be fun, and I'll tell you why. We, um, some of you may recall, I've mentioned it a couple times, that my husband and I. Uh, signed up to take a cruise. Paris has been on our bucket list for a long time because my, especially since John's a, a, a an artist full time now. And so it's, it's in the summer. It's like late June with, with my parents down in Florida. I haven't seen them since COVID. Um, and so I have some things I really need to buckle down and start dealing with as far as that goes. Like hotel and fighting with the airlines to get our flights to be something we will not hate <laughs> and so on and so forth and I've been putting it off and putting it off and I really need to start just getting it done because I don't have a lot of stress in my life these days but that is something that is I'm causing myself undue stress by just not just dealing with it so I'm going to deal with it um, so I want to put a box specific to that um, I love this one more, more of those lights. So maybe what I'll do just to break the lights up a little bit. And what I can do is put everything Paris related in this box. So if I put it down here, it's a lot of lights, but if I put it down here and then put something else above it to break it up, it won't feel like a lot of lights. And so I'm going to take advantage of this H coming up and just kind of tuck this in there. And then I can put all Paris trip related stuff there. Um, let's go ahead and throw maybe one more box over here and I'll cover the white out with that with non Paris related stuff. I'm just looking to see if there is a small vertical box. I don't want more candy canes that has deco in it, but nope. Okay. So we'll go with a plain one. Let's go with a slightly different shade of pink. We'll grab this one and put it here to cover up that bit of white out. There we go. And then I kind of feel like Paris is making me think of that. Um, I don't know if you all saw it. I didn't really point it out that um, here we go. This little street lamp, even though we're going in the summer, um, I just think of, of like strolling down the streets. Um, having nice evening stroll. So let's put this right here in between. I'm going to put it right over that vertical line. There we go. Okay. And then I definitely want my quote in there. Always be my forever. 
or for, okay, let's wait because either of these quotes I feel like would equally be a great idea. And so let's see if there's any other deco I want to intermingle with it. Oh, like again, so again, Paris trip. That's gonna be pictures and memory keeping and stuff. So this is a good one to put here. So since I decided on this, I think maybe we'll save the long quote and go with the more vertical quote. So, or I could put it like this, but I want the picture I think to be vertical. So let's put this here close to the discs because it's difficult to write right beside the discs. That's a little crooked, I don't care. This feels like a quote that goes with a bucket list vacation. So that looks pretty darn good. Um, about the only other thing I could do is maybe put like a, a goals or get it done or some kind of functional something there. So winter collections, I know there's some pink in here, although um, the words aren't colored. So priority, let's do priority because I really just need to buckle down and get it done. So that's that one. Let me show you how well it matches and then we'll move on to my social media. I like it, that definitely goes well together. Okay, stay tuned, we'll move on to my social media. So here is my dashboard planner. This is my social media planner. This is what I'm doing full time now that I'm retired. So this is more like my work planner. And I, I, I don't necessarily think of florals when it comes to work. I think it's more just the big, all the black um, that makes me feel like it's a little bit more work slash business like. Uh, so as you can see, this one's got red and gold and then some green and it's got the copper foil over here. So when I wanted to match to this, I do have the book that goes with it because it's got a lot of nice black stickers. I really don't wanna add any more florals because I just don't, I'm not feeling the florals. I don't really wanna bring different colors into the mix. So I was thinking about using, it's botanicals, but not florals. Some of these copper um, leaves in here and then maybe some black boxes or something. I So again, I like to do about space for about four quotes, four quotes, <laughs> four goals, um, and then some quotes. So then I thought to myself, well, where else can I find copper? And this um, Year to Shine, it came out a while back and this is a combined sticker book. It's the um, uh, sticker book and the accessory pack. I will link a video in the cards up above on how to do this. Um, but if I have everything together in one spot, then I'm much more likely to use it. But this has copper in it. Not a lot of red, not a lot of yellow, not a lot of green, but it does have the copper. And then I saw this. I like to include a quote. Um, the big black hand with the copper reach for your dreams and I just felt like that definitely had to had relevance as far as um, the, the social media work stuff for me so this is what we're matching to let's get going on this one <coughs> excuse me so again I want to cover these up I do not I keep all the holidays the seasonal the um, personal, all that stuff. I keep track of that in my catch-all planner. I don't want to keep it in different places because I don't want to be searching around for it. So I'm going to cover this up with some washi. I pulled these two um, and I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to stick with the copper foil, which this one has a mix of gold and kind of orange foil, the bottom one. So that definitely can go this one's actually got like a rose gold lighter foil, but I, I liked it because it's got this big, it's got the black, the red, the yellow. It's got a little bit of blue, but I don't think it's got so much blue that it doesn't work. So let's go ahead and put this one down. When you put your washi tape on here, this is simply gilded washi tape, by the way. Um, I do have a link in the description box. If you sign up for her truly no spam newsletter, you will get a coupon code for $5 off a purchase of $15 or more. And I'll get that same coupon code. And what I started to say was don't pull your washi tape super tight. It will stretch. And then when you unstick it and trim it, it will contract. And that's what causes your page to curl. So there we go. 
now you don't even have those two little holidays. This is a, an easy month. Some of the months that have the, the higher stack up of holidays there, it makes it a lot harder to cover that up. I'm just toying with the idea of going ahead and putting this one up here. Maybe I'll put it in the middle somewhere. I don't know. All right, so let's... <clears throat> I need to put my goals on there. The other thing I could have done was put two of these washi tapes on there. I'm just wondering if the... I'm second guessing this washi tape now because I feel like these co this copper, even though it, yeah, I think, you know what, I'm going to switch. I just think that uh, foil on that washi tape is a little too rose gold pinky. Let's switch to this one. Yeah, that matches better. And I'm going to flip it around so the black is at the edge of the page, the bottom. That other washi tape looked great, but... Um, I like the foil better on this one. When I put it next to these, I realized that the foil was better on this one. So now then, do I want to put some up here too? And we'll do an uneven rip because I don't want to cover up February. Oh, that's a good uneven rip too. Then the other fun thing, I just got the Mojo Jojo plans. I got the pastel and the rainbow shapes. And so I want room for six goals. I thought it would be fun to use oh, one of these shapes. Ooh, like the hexagons. So I can use, so I pointed out on the other page, there's red and yellow and green, and these match. So let's use these. And what I can do is put two goals in each shape. Yeah, there's tons of these. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's use, so we'll use three of these. Maybe I can go one two, three, and cover these up that way, and then put my quotes around it. Yeah. So let's do green. So on the facing page, the green is the lowest because that's the greenery. And then the red is at the top. So we'll put, we'll put these kind of very, just very roughly in order of the colors on the facing page. You'll get to see it at the end. I'll show you again. Um, well, that didn't work. Should have put the yellow one on last. We'll move it. Um, so it's a, it just kind of hints at the matchiness of it, but not too matchy matchy. So, okay, let's squeeze this in between. So they're kind of connected. There. That works. Okay. So that was it for functional stuff. Now I want to come over here. Let's see, let's put some copper in here. So like this one, yes, very nice. I want something here and here. How about, there we go. And one more here, maybe a kind of fat fat one like maybe this all right and then I want to do something to help with that because it's just kind of out in the middle of nowhere right now so maybe I'll put since his hand is nice and big and black with the quote on it reach for your dreams we'll put that kind of over top of it almost like the the greenery is coming out of the hand there we go. There are my dreams. Reach for your dreams. Nice. Okay. Let's see if we can find a goals sticker or something in here. Just trying, looking, letting the copper kind of catch my eye. Ooh, here we go. Oh, this is, okay, I got copper bullet points and nice big goals. Or, ooh, ooh, I like intentions even better. That looks really nice. Okay, so can I put this, find something to layer this over top of or maybe another piece of greenery? Ooh, I really, okay. This, <laughs> this big fern keeps catching my eye. I don't know why. Well, I know why, because I love, I love the Pacific Northwest and the kinds of vegetation that are around here, the ferns in the woods. So let's do 
that. That is nice. I know it's hard to see because it's foil, but I love it. All right. And then I was going to use a couple of these. I'm really finding a lot of copper. I'm glad I pulled this sticker book. I'm going to put two of these on each in each box just to kind of call out there are two things to be written in each space. And they're not things necessarily to be checked off. So functionally, that's everything. I feel like knowing how much black is on this page, I want more black. So, and I don't think there's much, there's not yellow or red or a whole lot of black in this book. I mean, and I don't want multiple copies of that. This don't stop until you're proud is nice. I feel like that could be nice up here a lot, right along the edge of that washi. Just a quick flip through here. Like I said, I know there's not going to be a whole lot in here that can work. There was that progress, not perfection. Travel light, live light, spread the light. I don't really want travel. All right. Grow through what you go through. Um, I just want to double check what the quote on that other page is. Flowers need time to bloom, so do you. I just want to make sure I don't have that quote on here twice. So let's look for something that's black with uh, a foil, copper, or but not other. So like this one, I don't want the gold foil. But I want a big chunk of black, maybe here or here. So this is not foiled. Grow your own way. Bloom, baby, bloom. Keep the wild. This could work. It's got that same floral that's on the other page. I just want to build in some black. So yeah, yeah, let's put this here. Another one of these on there. Do I need another one of these? I don't know, maybe in between. I'm having fun spreading this around. Oh yeah, look how well that fits that space. Okay, more black. I could put a couple of these. Oh, that one's got foil, these do, that's okay. Above all, be kind. Do all things with love and flowers. <laughs> that is the same floral as the other page, but um, it has the word flowers, so. The nice thing about this quote is the red is on that side, so it gives me a little more space from the facing page. So let's just go ahead and do it. It matches too well. Fills the space nicely. And then let's put one more piece of foil here and it'll be done. I don't think I need this now. How about I don't have anything like this on there yet. There we go. All right. Let's see how we did. Oh, I love it. All right. One left. We're going to do my wellness and fitness next. Last but not least, my wellness and fitness planner. So this planner, I'm using the, um, I guess it's Beautiful Blooms. This is the one place where, regardless of season, I definitely like to have um, anything nature related. So botanicals, whatever it may be. For the weekly pages in this planner, I am printing, um, I printed the wellness and fitness uh, I think, no, I don't think she called it fitness. Wellness layout from Baker Lane Studio. I do have that, a link in the description box where you can sign up for her no spam newsletter and get a discount. This is based on the, the original Breathe Wellness Planner from Happy Planner from several years ago. Um, but it has more variety as far as uh, journaling prompts. And the way, what they always had in those planners was, on this page was, uh, some some additional monthly journaling prompts how i'm strengthening my mind my body myself so i i printed these myself again i will link a video in the cards up above on how to make prompts um but this is meant to go about here and so what we'll do is we'll cover up important dates and then i like to include a box 
where I can write in, or a space where I can write in the answers. And I thought, since I still have this Rainbow Shapes book out, maybe we would go with another fun shape. I could do hexagons, I could do these, um, but I'm thinking maybe circles. And so hopefully I can fit one here and cover these up. Okay, yep, here we go. We'll do these nice big circles. So I just need to decide colors. I definitely want green again. Um, maybe orange. Green, orange, and yellow. Yeah, let's do green. They're all right here. Let's do green, orange, and yellow. So I'll put green in the middle. Let's do, let's start with orange. Yellow. I'm going to come down again with it. And then the green can go up slightly. So right up against the punches. And it's totally fine with me that they overlap a little. I'll try to get these lines nice and straight. There. That's cute. That's going to look nice versus the other side. And then for, I do like to list monthly goals. What I like to do is use the, um, some of the little icons from Healthy Hero. I like to use like a gym bag and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and grab these in the colors that coordinate. So like a hat and stuff. And what I do is I just put, I put one across every two lines or so. Let's start with, uh, so I'm just going to speed it up while I do this real quick. And we can totally leave monthly goals because that's exactly what I use it for. So it, it absolutely is appropriate. There, so I've got two lines for each goal. And that can be stuff like eating better, um, uh, getting back on the exercise bike, you know, whatever, whatever it may be. And then last but not least, so there always was a monthly habit tracker, but I'll be honest with you, I haven't been filling them out. I haven't felt like filling them out. I probably won't feel like filling them out, so I'm not going to worry about it this month. I really just lastly want a nice big quote. So I have the Beautiful Blooms sticker book that goes with this planner, and I'm looking for a nice progress from that perfection. Well, there we go. That was easy. Let's stick that on there. I haven't actually used a sticker out of this book yet, I don't think. So that's all those clear sticker sheets. Ooh, I like that. That's perfect. Try to get it straight. There we go. So that one was a super fast one, like five minutes, you know. All right. There we go. There is my final goals page uh, in my wellness and fitness planner. I hope you like this video. If you haven't been using these pages, um, either A, because you haven't known what to use them for, or B, because the thought never crossed your mind to use them, um, de decorate them. It's, if, <laughs> it's a page in your planner that you paid for. I know you have the stickers, so go ahead and decorate it. Maybe you don't want to use it for goals. Maybe you want to use it for budgeting or for meal planning or uh, um, challenge tracking. Who knows? Memory keeping. Whatever it is, use the stickers. Use the pages. Um, I hope you like this video. If you do, please consider liking, subscribing, giving me a thumbs up or a a smiley face, a kind word, all of those interactions with my videos help me with the YouTube algorithm and are a great way to support me. Thank you.